YouTube, welcome back to another video. It is your boy Seth. We about to go ahead and dive right into it. We got another layer for layer episode number two, part two, whatever you want to call it. It's on YouTube now. Okay, so today we are getting into a J Crowder piece today. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and dive into it. We're going to go ahead and break it down so y'all can see the process. Y'all can see how I think. And y'all can create a piece for y'all self that is just like that, but better. All right, let's get into it. So, right here, let's go ahead and get started off. I'm going to go ahead and hide all of these layers so y'all can see what I really did. So first of all, let's go ahead and start with our background layer, okay? So the image size for this one is 1400 by 1750. That is the way that I design my posters, okay? So the concept around this one, okay? Let's talk about the concept. So the concept around this one, I wanted a desert type vibe. I always love to make the skies just match up with the colors of the team. It's just something about the sky that really just does it in an art piece to me, especially when it comes to designing sports posters. Okay, so I wanted to go with a desert theme, so I thought of cactuses. Um, I love to have two different, like, I love to have two different focal lengths of the player in there. I love to have a close-up shot and I love to have a shot that is a full body shot as well, okay? So the way that I do that is I already have him. Here I have the big shot of him holding the ball and I want a little shot of him as well. So on that piece, I'm gonna go ahead and put down like a basketball type of court, right? Because I want him to be standing on something. I'm not doing a reflection on his feet, none of that. I'm just doing a simple basketball court and I want something to be in the foreground that leads to the focal point, right? Because we don't want people to focus on just anything in a, like in the design. We don't want that at all. So we need something to bring the viewer's eye into the center and so they can see the focal point, okay? So that's where we going with this project. So let's go ahead and dive right back into it. So, like I said, I love to have you know the sky just looking real beautiful real crazy okay so these are the two images like i said when you get the blend in the background like you know you don't really need to blend it too much as what you may think because i already have it blended in another way so i already got my images right here I have two skies afternoon skies and then after that i have another sky that just brings on more you know contrast in the design that's why i put it there okay so you see i added these two added some contrast i have blue in there which is kind of sort of their color even though it's more like on a purplish but it just complements as well you know can't go wrong with um colors i don't know if that's the right word for it but you know colors that are right beside each other you know on the color wheel or near it in a way so I just love it for contrast reasons okay so the next part i put down the phoenix suns logo just to have it up in there i just faded it out a little bit just so i can blend it in some so it can just be there like people will know it's there but it's not too like vibrant or you won't focus on it too much at all so i have my lights right here for my background and my players you know um, so now I have a mountain, okay? So when you blend it in, all you have to do to match the colors is just use a color balance, simply use a color balance. Then I use the exposure down here because we don't need, on the edges, we need it to be black, okay? You know, that that's just that simple. We need it to be darker because we do not need this to stand out at all. And we wanna blend it in in a way that it looks realistic anyways, okay? So we're just gonna duplicate that layer and now another color balance and another exposure to blend it in. So next what we have right here, a lot of people want to understand this process, but the reason why 
I put that right there in the middle is because it's just like a little effect that I just love to do. Like, it just, it adds on, like it just feels in the background. Like I really can't explain it for y'all, for y'all to understand, y'all would just have to try it. But it feels in the background because sometimes when you're working with white space and stuff, you always want to fill in the background. So I just put this on the black and white and I just blended this one in and you'll see how it came out and you'll see how such of a subtle effect it makes, but it just fills everything in just perfectly. If that makes sense, I just hope y'all understand that, okay? So let's go ahead and dive right back into it. Okay, so like I said, it would just be like space right here if I wasn't to put this down. Okay, so I have my cactus right here. Let's blend in the cactus with a little bit of exposure. And so now I have my main subject, okay? So let's go and blend it in. Exposure down here because, like I said, we want the focus point to be around here. You know, we don't want to be focusing down here. Plus, I want to add a court down here. So I'm going to go ahead and make this black so I can add that and it can blend in just smoothly, okay? So now you want to add a hue and saturation, another hue and saturation for your lighting because lighting is important and it, and it is a lighting source in the background, okay? So keep mind of that all the time, okay? So now... I have it to where it's like fully black down here. Now I can do whatever I want. Now I have space to add text down here because it's just black, okay? So now what I wanna do is just add my court. Um, then after that, what I did for here, this is just like a little bit of fog just to make it like a seamless transition in a way, you know, because back here it just kinda just cuts off and we don't want it to just cut off like that at all. So from here, we add in the shadows down and the light for our second cutout okay so the shadows are very important because if you don't add shadows it's just going to look like you just placed the image there and you never want your image to just look like it's placed there always think of like realistic things if you stand right there and the sun is on you or a light source is on you you're going to have some form of shadow it's not like it's just going to be no shadows it's going to look really fake okay so add your shadows and after that I'm just exposing all right well after that I'm just blending my bad okay so now for the foreground like I said before we want a focal point okay that's all we want is a focal point we already set it up and we already used the hierarchy which is like bigger and smaller okay you always want to make sure that you have hierarchy in the design where you have one object that might be bigger than another you know it just it really just helps the eye you know you don't want to just look at something and it's just two big things it's like you don't know what to look at but if you have something bigger something smaller then you have something to look at in the design all right just keep that in mind but back to the point i was making so we want to have a focal point and we want to have a foreground to make you instantly just look in the middle okay that's all we want you to do so now to get that type of effect all i do is simply add a blur with a fence right here all right this is the mass layer let me get to this layer right here so just this little effect plus the vignettes makes you just focus in on the design already it's just a little subtle effect that i add in almost all of my designs and it's very helpful to lead the eye to the focal point that you want to get it to all right so after that i just added my text on here because we already cre created that space for us to put text down here so it's visible and you can see and it's not all you know just thrown everywhere because we do not want to throw text anywhere on the design no we do not so after that we add a color look up to make it pop out more and like i said i'll be coming out with a video on color lookups and why they're important in my editing process and for my color grading okay so after that just my tag and some particles okay so after this after this what we want to do is press ctrl alt and a then press ctrl g to group it all together and press ctrl e to flatten okay now we want to press Control shift and a to go to camera raw all right so i already made a camera raw preset for this one 
and I will leave that in the description. So I'll just briefly go over what my camera raw preset did. All right, let's go ahead and get it real quick. All right. So now that you merged everything together, now you are done. And now that I'm done with that, that is my full creative process into making a sports poster. And very soon, I will have another episode dropping for y'all. So make sure y'all stay tuned. But before y'all leave, go ahead and drop a like. Go ahead, subscribe. Go ahead and comment something that you feel that I could have added or that you like to add in your designs as well, okay? So with that being said, I'll be back with another one. I'm Seth. 